Greetings and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. This is a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here today to talk about that series we've been doing. The one that I started in July, the beginning of July. This is day three, the 29th of July. Chosen another band for this. So for those of you who are, haven't been following and not really sure what we're doing here. So I've chosen 31 bands for the month of July that have two or more lead vocalists in the band. These are bands that are fairly well known as well. Not, not too many obscure bands. Maybe at the beginning there was a few. And so we're trying to give some attention to these bands and their vocalists and usually they have two at least two lead vocalists sometimes as many as five we will have at least one band with five in it so to get underway with we're going to be talking about this band today yep and yeah, maybe over here might be better yep uh, Devo or if you prefer De Evolution, uh, a band that came out in the mid I think it was mid to late 70s. I think they got together originally in the early 70s, but they didn't actually do anything until the late 70s. And they had two, at one time they were a, a sextet, which meant there were six of them in the band. Uh, the uh, Caselli brothers, of course, Bob and Gerald, and the Mark, uh, Mark Ma Mothersbaugh and his brother, Bob Mothersbaugh. But the two main guys, Mark Mothersbaugh and Gerald Casale were the lead vocalists for this band. Both of them, uh, they both mimic that same kind of cutoff style where they would sing a song, stop, sing a word, stop, then there'd be some instrumentation, then they'd sing a word, stop. It was kind of, kind of giving it that robotic feel to the music, uh, which is what I think they were trying to create. That um, the band was de-evolving and they were going back to uh, Neanderthals if you prefer but uh, the style of the two singers was different after that once you got through the initial kind of uh, robotic sound to their voice they were very different in, in sound so Gerald Casale not Bob I was about to say Bob Gerald Casale the singer he was more of a frontal guy he was usually out front he did the lead vocals um, kind of a nasally sound to his voice uh, yeah nothing nothing out of the ordinary his voice was very atypical but a kind of a nasally sound to it and uh, he alternated that with um, I'm not sure if he played any instrumentation here I'm thinking he played guitar and somebody might out there remember and remind me of that but basically he was usually the guy at the front now the other guy Mark Mothersbaugh he was the keyboardist of the band, but also the lead vocalist. His vocal style, very, very different. He, well, not his style. The style was very similar. His sound of his voice was very different. It was much more clear and maybe a little bit deeper in sound, but all, had that curt cut off sound to it. But his vo vocals were usually clearer, I think, uh, not, not with any inflections or nasal sound or anything unusual. Um, probably the better of the two as far as vocalists go but uh, for the style they were doing it didn't really matter all that much so um, yeah I, I grew to like these guys quite a bit they had a couple of hits whip it being the big one uh, they had uh, subhuman or oh, was it subhuman no mongoloid was the song I was thinking of and uh, satisfaction which they covered from the stones and they did that really kind of a choppy kind of robotic sound to their voice Kurt I guess you might want to call it but anyways I did like these guys quite a bit and I wanted to give them some attention today um, some people think of them as a bit of a joke band but I did enjoy their music at times and if you, if you like their music this is not a bad album to get into it's a live album lots of uh, lots of good live stuff on here as well um, get to hear them a little bit different too because they don't do that style with every song it's 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 primarily but there's a couple songs at the beginning that you'll find on this that they're not doing that and you see that they are actually fairly talented people so there you have it so for 
those great bands with two or more lead vocalists. Uh, for today it was Devo, Mark Mothersbaugh, and Gerald Casali. So please like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave your comments. Uh, how do you feel about this band? What band would you choose to put in the day 29 spot? And we'll be back again tomorrow with another one. So take care.